The Master Chief has come back to Boost Droid officially, as they have launched Halo Infinite on the platform. They removed the Master Chief collection some years ago as I made a video on that way back when. Halo Infinite is brand new to the platform though, so how does Sierra 117 perform in multiplayer and the campaign? Well let's charge those energy shields and finish the fight. Now I'm gonna say this first, loading this game took forever, just saying. If you experience the same, it's not just you. Now the second time I loaded the game, it was super fast, so it is what it is. And yes, you will need a Microsoft account for this game. Now first I tried multiplayer with Halo Infinite since most people will be playing this mode. Surprisingly enough, Boosteroid has the game set at ultra settings, which is cool. Now I did get warmed up in the training facility. I did have a slight bit of extra lag than I'm normally used to, but I eventually adapted. It's also been quite a while since I played the game, so take this with a grain of salt. On to the main event. Can you do damage in multiplayer? The answer is probably. The last time I played Halo Infinite multiplayer was when we launched our four player crossplay on it, which was almost two years ago now. So yeah, I'm rusty, but a seasoned player might perform much better than I am. And if Boosteroid is your preferred method of playing, especially if you have a mobile device, the game performs pretty well. I didn't have many complaints in multiplayer. Now can you say the same in the campaign? Now what you have to know about the campaign is that this will be the Steam version only. No Xbox Game Pass version here, which means I had to shell out a full price $60 for this campaign quote unquote DLC. Boosteroid really needs that Microsoft Store integration and fast. Now since my Microsoft account is loaded from when I played the campaign before, can I pick up from where I left off on Game Pass? Well one thing's for sure, the achievements from when I played the campaign last have moved over, but my save games? That's a big fat no. I have to start all over again. These saves are most likely saved on your Steam account instead of your Microsoft account. So make sure you close the game correctly to activate cloud saves on Steam. Now how is the campaign gameplay? Well there's good news and bad news. Boosteroid pretty much runs the game well at 60 FPS as the in-game monitor states. Indoor levels, the gameplay is pretty smooth with great response times. Now here's the bad news. Go outside into the open world and Boosteroid skips and stutters like Porky Pig from Looney Tunes. I'm not sure if it was because I was playing at a certain time or because I was playing co-op with a friend and yes you can play with others on Xbox, but I had major stream issues outside in the open world. But I'm guessing this is not going to be too much of a problem for people because most people who have the campaign have it on Game Pass and not Steam, which is smart. Overall, other than the issues I had in the campaign, Halo Infinite performs okay. I think the best way to play is with multiplayer, which most people are going to be playing with anyway. It is free. So if you're looking to get started with Boosteroid, the link is in the description. If you like this overview of Halo Infinite on Boosteroid, give us a like. Also make sure to join as a member of the channel or join our Patreon and our Discord in the links below. And above all else, make sure to subscribe to keep it locked right here at the only place where you can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle. Ah, that's why they call it infinite.